So what is the 80-20 rule and why is it so important? Stick around because it's exactly what we're talking about in today's episode of The Northwoods. Towing capacity seems to be that one topic that always ends up turning into a heated debate in the online groups and forums. If you're just getting started with your new RV, I know that all these rules of thumb can be a bit overwhelming when it comes to the RV life. But before we jump right into things, I ask that you take a moment, subscribe to the channel, and set that bell to all so you get notified of more videos on RV travel, tips, tricks, and everything else RVing. If you haven't heard of the 80-20 rule, basically the rule states that you should never tow more than 80% of your vehicle's maximum towing capacity. This gives room for human error when calculating towing capacity, but also for constantly changing factors that naturally happen when towing an RV down the road. Things like tongue weight, payload weight, and the weight of the trailer swaying while traveling down the road can all have an effect on these numbers. It also helps to protect the longevity of your tow vehicle by not pushing it to its maximum abilities day in and day out. If you take one thing away from this video, let it be that towing produces a ton of wear and tear on your vehicle. Even if your vehicle is a one ton dually, you're going to experience steep inclines and steep declines as you travel across this country. All of this can take a huge toll on your vehicle's components like the engine, transmission, suspension, and brakes. We've seen numerous times a vehicle, well within its towing capacities, experience excessive wear and tear simply for towing at or above its maximum towing capacity. Because of this, towing at 80% of the vehicle's maximum capacity is a good rule of thumb to stick to. But there are some terms that you should become familiar with and understand when it comes to these capacities. The first one is know your trailer's UVW. The UVW is the unloaded vehicle weight and sometimes referred to as the dry weight. This is how much your trailer weighs with absolutely nothing in it. Not a person, not clothes, not food, not even water or propane. You'll probably never tow your trailer at this weight beyond bringing it home for the first time. But it's good to understand what this rating is. The next rating you should become more familiar with and more importantly be the most interested in is the GVWR. This is the gross vehicle weight rating. This number is very important as it is the maximum weight that your trailer is rated to haul with all of its cargo on board. You'll find the UVW and the GVWR on the sticker located on the side of the RV, normally located near the front corner. The next thing to understand is the difference between towing capacity and payload capacity. Simply put, towing capacity is the amount of weight that your vehicle is rated to pull while payload capacity is the amount of weight that your vehicle is rated to haul. Keep in mind that both of these numbers do matter. While towing an RV, the vehicle doesn't carry all of the weight of that fifth wheel or travel trailer. Some of that weight gets dispersed across the trailer's axles. But the amount of weight that does transfer to the vehicle, whether it be pin weight or tongue weight dispersed across the vehicle using a weight distribution hitch, counts towards the payload capacity of that vehicle. Other things that can take away from the vehicle's payload capacity is anything that you haul inside or outside of the vehicle. These things include the driver, the passenger, toolboxes, generators, or anything else that adds additional weight to the vehicle. I know this gets confusing, but there's a huge difference between the towing capacity, the amount that a vehicle is rated to pull, compared to payload capacity, the amount that the vehicle is rated to haul. Keep in mind that these numbers are going to differ with every vehicle trailer combination. The 80-20 rule is a good baseline to allow for some safety on top, but you're going to want to make sure to dive in deeper into the numbers of your setup. And keep in mind that payload is the one factor that's most often overlooked. So that's the 80-20 rule. Keep all this in mind when you're figuring out the best combination for your setup. And also make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found any of this information helpful. And until next time, if we don't catch you on the road, we'll see you in the next video.